And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just warming back again, and we got ourselves a new game. Bringing one of my characters over from football is is Kevin Snow. Uh, my first creation of him was basically a counter to DJ Knight, as DJ Knight was a very, very awesome basketball player. So I decided to bring in Kevin Snow as an answer. Well, Kevin Snow is going to give himself an opportunity to be able to be a boxer this time. So we're going to see how he does here in this one. And our first match is going to be against Ezra Soto, who is 7-8-1 with six knockouts. So plan here is I'm going to be going through the ladder quite slowly, just kind of get a chance to build up snow. And then at that point, definitely going to see what we can do about everything else. See if we got the volume at a right angle. All right. See what we can do in this one here. All right. So Snow's basis is he's got a ten tendency to want to go inside, but he does have that reach. So that strong. Strong right and a bit of an uppercut. And we're going to see what we can do here. As I may show some training and stuff with them, but I'm not certain if I'm what I'm going to be showcasing here. The first one's going to be a short little match here, six rounds. See if I can get Soto off balance here. So he doesn't seem like he wants to throw much. Oh, caught him that time. So we'll see if we can. No, he's going to clinch here. See if I can work him to the corner a little bit. Missed with the uppercut and he missed with the hook. Gotta wear him down a little bit and try not to throw 800 punches in a round. Oh, what a shot! Wasn't ready for that one. All right, so we got some good recovery here. I did do some damage to him, so starting to wear him out a little bit. Got more stamina than I'd hoped for, so looks like it's doing good. So it looks like his cheeks getting worked over a little bit. All right, round two. Two of six here. Trying to control the ring here. Ooh, good shot to the stomach. Let's see if I can get Soto off balance here. Got him in the corner, so if I can take advantage of it. Ooh, good shot to the face there. Missed it there. Ooh, we got another good shot. Oh, a good uppercut there. Clean jump, that's going to save him a little bit. Oh, 
Ooh, caught him again. There's a straight right. And finally got him. Looks like the left hook dropped him that time. Oh no, the right hook. And down goes Soto. And he's gonna get up. But Knight scores a knockdown, so that's gonna help. A double uppercut I like doing. Soto's had enough, he wants to clinch. Oh, and Soto catches one. There's a nice little lift he gave there. Soto's getting worked over a little bit. Well, still got more stamina than he does, so that's the big thing there. So, this will be the halfway round. Got to make sure to Try not to open myself up so much. Ooh, good left uppercut there. Been trying to work on getting some hooks and stuff in to, uh, on his uh, strengths and everything. That way I can start working the body a bit more and wear, wear out my opponents in the longer fights. Especially those 10 and 12 round fights. Halfway through with the round. He tried a shot there, couldn't nail it. That one blocked. Tried a big one there, couldn't get it. I don't try the power shots too often, but they can work. Oh, and down it goes. Got a power uppercut there. And as he was swinging, he takes a seat on the canvas. So Snow with another knockdown. See if he gets up here. And he will not. That is a knockout. Third round knockout for Snow. So Kevin Snow in his first contest gets the knockout in the third round. Not bad there. Had the score throughout that time. As we can see, the numbers connected 55% of the shots, threw three power shots, and or hit three of them out of four. Had uh, five counter opportunities and hit three of them. So pretty much outboxed uh, Soto on this one. Uh, pretty much ran with the uppercut more than anything, especially the right uppercut through a number of hooks and majority punches was that straight right hand other than the jab. Threw quite a bit of jabs there, which I'm not used to doing really. So best round was the first round where it connected 56% of the punches there. So that's the end of the first fight. Kevin Snow with the victory and able to get past his opponent. So definitely see who we're going to look at next as we will schedule the next fight. 
as Rosoto goes down in defeat. Looks like the next guys do not have a winning record. So it's going to be either Hendrick Hunt or Sebastian Newman. So I'll definitely be looking for you guys to figure out who's going to be the next opponent. I'll choose, looks like I will go with Hendrick Hunt. Uh, next time I may go with Newman because he does have that big reach. So it will definitely benefit being the inside fighter. So we'll definitely have to work on getting some hooks to the body. So we're going to try and see if we can add to Hendrick Hunt's losing streak. As it looks like he is the shortest fight. Don't have enough money to do anything else other than the home gym. So we're just going to go there. Get some good time recouping. And then here we go. So basically, how I like doing, and I'll go through one training real quick. I usually do the skills training. usually go with sparring because that's usually the best way to get all of the stats to increase. So I'll do a single training session. And then next time we come back, it will be... Time to fight Hunt. So we're going to see how I train this time. See if I do any better. Which a lot of times I forget to add my stats before the training. Because usually I add the stats after I've done all the training right before the fight. That way, nice and fresh for the fight. Now, I fight differently than what I do with my sparring partner, because my sparring partner, a lot of times, does not like to fight back. Or if he does, he's over-aggressive. The main goal is 40,000 because then you train as cha you get that champion rank and that gives you the most XP, which means I don't have to grind as much. down because I was over aggressive. There we go. Got the 40,000 like I wanted. All right. So there we go. That's how you get the, the max XP of the 400. Is just going to that uh, training that's the best for you and just do what you can to well on your target. So then after that we get a good rest in and then we do it once more. But that's going to be it for this recording. Appreciate everybody watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless you.